Hello and welcome to HITC Sport. So Roy Hodgson is a man whose career was stuffed down the toilet after Euro 2016, but he's finally clawed his way back in the management of Crystal Palace. Are the fans happy with him? Well, touching on Roy Hodgson, then, what do you think of him? Because his reputation was on the floor after the Euros. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Roy Hodgson's on the floor because of his England career, but if you look at his club career, it's a magnificent career. I was pleased. Forget England. Forget England. Think of West Brom. Think of Fulham. Similar size clubs. He's got a very good, he's got a very, very good reputation in club and international football. England's a different kettle of fish. Managing the national side is nothing like managing a club side. Forget England. England, no England manager does any good. All, it's all a poison chalice. All England managers are going to get the sack. So, no, I'm, I'm pleased. Give him time. I still think he'll keep us up. But the England national job is, uh, well, it's a, it's a nightmare for any manager. You just name them and they fail. I had some doubts about his commitment when he's, when he's in his 70s, but then I'm in my 70s too. I think it was like a board appointment, but I can see why it was done. It was my same thoughts with Allardyce. I mean, just thought, yeah, he's not going to like set the world alight, but he could do a job. Brilliant. Fulham, brilliant all over the world. He's managed all over the world. He can talk to the players. He speaks eight languages, I think it is. So it doesn't matter what nationality a player comes in, he'll speak to them in their language. He's a great motivator, he picks a good side, he keeps it simple. Most people were sort of thinking, oh, he's the guy who lost Iceland, he must be awful. Yeah, but most sensible Palace fans didn't, because they know what he can do. Again, I was one of those slating him, because, you know, how can we lose to Iceland? No disrespect to Iceland, but... As an Irishman, I found it hilarious. But yeah, I can, I can, so did the Welsh, obviously. Iceland was Iceland. Iceland was one off. We were all gutted about Iceland, but it could happen to anybody. Forget it now, let's see what he can do. But I'm, I'm still confident, I'm not giving up yet. This team can do something, and I suppose Roy, Roy could do something. I just think January needs to come around, Steve Parrish needs to open his wallet up, and we need some points, badly. I'd just, I'd take some draws. As a club manager, with uh, teams of our Palace is there, you look at what he did at Fulham, what he did at West Brom. I think for the moment he's, after the, the well, obviously the Dutch experiment didn't work. I think he's the right man at the time. Who knows if Allardyce would have stayed, whether we'd still be in this position or not. You never know, but I think at the moment he's the right man, and then I'm gonna give him, what, a couple of year, year, year and a half, see and then who's available. I don't know what about his spirit. I mean, he looks happy on the training ground. He's always laughing and joking. It's his local club team he came through the academy with as a player even though he didn't never really play for us like but I suppose it's local team kind of thing but he's from Croydon he kind of knows our team so um, I think at the very least he understands what the fans want and he understands some of the more local players so I think that he's a good guy to bring the team together we, let's see how we go if he keeps us up it'd be fantastic but yeah we shall see it's early days oh well well I'm just gonna have to see how it goes I'm not losing any faith I'm just gonna have to keep up Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.